Okay, it is Friday, March 17th, 2017, um, just past the full moon of Bitak Eatsum, the Eagle Moon. I'm out here walking the ice path in the coulee, my bare feet. And it's a good stretch of ice here. Um, Snow is melting, obviously it's not that cold, right? The air temperature is above zero, finally. Um, but this is still pretty cold. <laughs> this is not something that I would recommend for a novice barefooter, nor for a novice um, in exposure to cold. Um, once you're in the middle of this, if your feet are too cold, you're in trouble, because you're, you know, this is about a 15, 20 minute stretch of ice. Um, to walk on and if <laughs> I think if you don't maybe Maybe I've been watching too much wind hoff <laughs> if you don't know the right way to breathe to get your you know your vital uh, Whatever going out and warming the skin um, You might get frostbite out here like I don't know. I don't know what would give a an untrained person frostbite or if there's even a difference but I suspect there is because you know, if I see people step in the snow or step on ice like this and stand around on ice for um, 20 minutes or more, like to tell you the truth, I've already walked up this and came back down um, making different edits of this video or different takes of this video and I'm going back up again. Um, and I'm very comfortable doing this, but I think a lot of people, if they stepped on this ice, it would be a matter of a minute or two before they're feeling like they need to get out of get out of here and uh, uh, go save their feet from from freezing, um, for whatever reason, I think you know. Obviously, I've trained it a while, but I'm able to do this, and it doesn't um, affect me too too strongly. Like I don't know. I just. And when I first step onto this ice this evening, you know, down at the bottom, um, it was cold and I was like, oh, I'm not sure I want to do this. But, you know, just went into it. Now my feet actually feel warmer than when I started. Like, they feel like, I don't feel like I've lost much sensation in my toes or anything like that. Um, I think I was, I was worse off when I just started than I am now. So there's got to be some reason for that, right? <laughs> it's a bit of mud in here too. You can see actually where I've already walked up and down, right? So I've been on this a while. Um, anyway, I missed my weekly update last Thursday. And then I missed the next weekly update yesterday. So it's time for a two-week update. What's been going on in the life of Rye? And... It's mostly been work. I actually did record an update last week, but I, I didn't post it because as I went in to, to edit it, I realized the wind was so strong that night that my recording, um, nobody's going to be able to hear it. So I just left it. Um, <clears throat> and I haven't had time to go back to it, really. I mean, I do take this evening walk once a day, but most days it's pretty windy. I got to get lucky for a, a wind-free corridor. <laughs> um... Anyway, most of my life the last couple of weeks has been straight work, 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 uh, running the program. Just wrapped up week five, which is the halfway point of um, my program, my Bestoat Soap program. And I've got, I've still got my 13 guys, um, or my, sorry, my 15 guys. And... Yeah, it's, it's, it's going good. I think morale is pretty high um, among the group. And, you know, there are those days where we feel like we just got to kind of push through, like we're going through the motions doing the program, you know. Um, but there are also a lot of exciting days. I had my friend Jonathan Redgun come in as a role model yesterday. He did a few hours of talking, telling kind of his life history um, and, you know, how it relates to 
employment and how it relates to um, how he, how he's tw twined, you know, Blackfoot thinking, traditional thinking with his employment, with his ups and downs of his life. And he's had some serious downs and some serious fights. You know, he just beat prostate cancer, stage four prostate cancer in this last couple of years. He just fought that and won. So, <clears throat> and he's had some real, like, pretty harsh other things happen you if you want to look at the talk i'm going to put it up on the blackfoot digital library um, or adrian will put it up there mahoney my missus in the next week or so um, it's jonathan redgun but <clears throat> that was a really good talk and we did a field trip um, we visited the heavy shields canyon that was that was really cool and actually the, the weekend, last weekend, after we visited Heavy Shields Canyon, I went back there with one of the clients, one of the participants and his cousin, and we explored the area some more, seeing uh, what we could find. Um, outside of work, it's been mainly... Um, <laughs> Mainly just sitting at home. Sorry, I'm just going to be a little bit shy because there's somebody up above. <coughs> Get going. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> there was just, there was somebody walking above me on a trail. And I always get kind of embarrassed, shy to be seen, you know, walking by myself with holding up a camera, talking to myself, you know. Um, <laughs> so anyway, outside of work, what's happening with me? Um, well, every night when I come home from work, I take this walk, right? Take this hike down the coulee back up. Um, in the last week, Mahoney, Mahoney, uh, Adrian, my wife, she's been joining me every other day. She'll do part of this walk. And go, she didn't do the whole thing that I do. Um, but she'll, she'll go to the rim of the coulee, maybe just a little ways down from the rim, back up, and, uh, and then she, she'll take a break. You know, she'll sit and wait for me if I want to run down and back up uh, all the way to the bottom. But yeah, she's just building up some of her strength now. Uh, she's, She's getting interested in feeling physically healthier. So that's nice, being able to take some walks together. We've also done some walks together at the pond, Shpobikimi, which is kind of one of our places as a couple. Hopefully that wind's not fucking us up. <laughs> um, and then after my walk, uh, I'll go home, I'll eat, maybe take a bath or maybe just jump on the computer uh, look at what's new for my subscriptions and YouTube um, I'll look at what's new on Facebook I might post something you know um, I want to do some more YouTube posts I just I haven't been doing nearly the, the number that I used to do now it's you know one every week or, or sometimes um, a little bit less or a little bit more I did if you're watching the YouTube channel I did a talk um, after work last week one day I did a talk about the beavers and uh, their relationship to Blackfoot culture and history of the local ecology so I did a beaver talk uh, the day after that Mahoney hosted a talk a story Blackfoot storytelling talk that featured her dad her mom and Jerry Potts that's a wicked good uh, storytelling session. And they told a bunch of different types of stories. They told like war stories. They told like origin stories. They told like humorous stories. Um, they told contemporary stories. You know, just a bunch of different types of Blackfoot stories and they were all really good. So that too will be on the Blackfoot Digital Library. Um, before long, you'll be able to find that there. 
And what was the, what was after that? Did those couple of talks? Yeah, I don't know. It's all kind of a blur to me. <laughs> the weeks are flying by really fast and I'm just like hanging on. It's like <laughs> being on a horse, you know, that's uh, the horse is a little bit out of control. I mean, it's somewhat in control, but uh, but not totally in control, hey? And you can just feel it. Um, the fact that it's not completely in control. So you're just hanging on, you know? That's how I feel in life right now. Um, as we pull past week five and we're entering the latter half of my program, you know, the horse is going, the horse is going, it's doing what I want it to do. But, um, but there is that sense that it, you know, it could exercise a little bit more agency at will at any point, right? Um, that I'm not fully in control of it. So <laughs> that's probably just my nerves, you know. I was, I was just wanting everything to go so well. Um, is there anything else? This is my dad's birthday, March 17th. So happy birthday, dad, if you're watching. I know you probably will will check it out, but whether you stick this far into the video or not, <laughs> poor you if you have. Um, yeah, so happy birthday. And that's about it. That's about it for my update. Um, I do, I have been working on uh, some language videos to upload soon. So whether they'll be before my next update or not, I don't know. But look out for those if you're interested in Blackfoot language stuff. And yeah, that's about it for today. Again.